What's up, guys? Welcome to TMG Podcast. This is actually last week's episode. If you want today's episode, uh, that'll be on our Patreon right now. Uh, you can get it a week early if you contribute. It's patreon.com slash tinymeatgang. Um, so thanks if you do that. And if not, enjoy this one. Peace. And we're live. Yeah, we're live. And we are live. We're live. Hello. We're live. <laughs> this is so cool. I can't believe it. Is it, and then so this is this is it's filming live. us. Yeah, it's it's filming us. Wow. Yeah. This is awesome. Yeah, technology. We're live. We're live. Hi, hi, hello world. You wouldn't believe it, but we're live. <laughs> hello world. Hello everyone. It is Mark Weens here, and I am just so excited to be here in New Jersey today. I have a delicious bag of um, meth, and I. Uh, meth is not very common here, but I have found some local delicacy and I am so excited to just dive right in. This is a very special batch. Um, I've never had, I can, how, how can you tell it's meth? Well, you can just, you, you can just see the, the aroma. Um, not really, it doesn't have a smell, but, uh, you can see it's, me- it's very methy when you touch it. It, yeah, I dip my finger in there and I, I mwah, took a little and I, you know, already felt the tingling in my gums. Yes. And, and you have this amazing tingling feeling in your gums. Very methy feel to very it. Very methy feel, yeah. So, um, here we go. And I'm going to be smoking it. Now. Now. <sighs> mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that's meth. <laughs> very, very methy feel this has to it. <laughs> and it almost, you can, you almost feel like, the government is is watching you, <laughs> in a way. Um, entertain the people for a second while I get focus. Hey you guys, know. what's good? Hello world, we are live, and uh, this is so cool, man. This is so cool that we get to do this. We get to podcast live, or I guess almost live, but it's it is uh, it's actually technically recorded, so you're seeing this after the fact. But it is just so cool that we get to hit a little <laughs> red button and. Thousands of people get to listen to what we're saying, and I just, I just think that's so cool. You know, it's such a cool byproduct of the way technology I wanna, has advanced I die. and evolved. I want to die. And but it's so cool. <laughs> I don't know what that is. That's a, that's a um, dad who just learned what the internet is. Yeah, pretty much. So where the fuck are we? We're in Asbury. We're in Asbury's at, Park. Be, we're in Buried at Ass Park, New Jersey. <laughs> Yeah, and we came here to bury some mass, you know what I'm saying? We're beside the law offices of Barry R. Slot and Robert <laughs> D. <laughs> Barry, I'm Bar- bury that slot. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, <laughs> Barry R. Slot. And Robert D. Farber and Timothy J. Shea. Robert D. Farber? And, Robbie D. Farby? And you can't forget Diane Turton, Realtors. Yeah, bit. Bury, bury our slot is good. Mm-hmm. Bury our slot with uh, cum. <laughs> bury <our> that <laughs> ass just seems like you just smash a bunch of blueberries on a pair of ass cheeks. <laughs> Robert D. Farber. Robert, I'm trying to take that D farther into my ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. We're reaching on this one. Mm-hmm. What is comma ESQ? Is that Esquire? Um, I think it stands for, yeah, Esquire, the magazine. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to Robert take that D Farber Esquire (laughs) here at Robert take that D Farber Esquire law offices. We're going to take that D so far down. (laughs) We're going to take that defense. Oh, there we go. Robert D Farber. We take the D we, we take the, we take the defense all the way to the guts. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, We take the D to the guts. I like that. That's probably their catchphrase. What about Timothy J. Shea? Timothy J. Shag my mouth. Timothy J. Shag my mouth. Timothy J. Shea sounds like a like an R and B singer yeah, or something. Yeah, it does. Timothy J. Shea. That's like Jason Derulo, <laughs> but Timothy J. Shea. Not, Timothy J. Shea. <laughs> not a good bit at all. We're in fucking. We're in Asbury Park. I'm trying to get the audio right. Audio. Here we go. Don't worry about it. You're okay. tripping. I'm tripping. You're tripping. I just gotta, I just gotta stay like this. Um, yeah, we're in Asbury Park. Uh, it's actually really nice here. It is. We had a show in uh, we had the Pittsburgh show last night. It was super dope. Shout out to everybody that came through. Yeah, shout out to Pittsburgh, man. It was, it was a good, really fun. It was a good motherfucking time. Yeah, it was. It was actually 
it was really fun. I didn't really want to get off stage by the end of it. Nah, I wanted to stay up there all night. It was yeah. fucking dope. It was great. Someone said that too. They were like, don't leave. <laughs> Just stay here. It's a six hour comedy show. <laughs> And by the end, we're just we're just doing this. Robert D. Farber. Robert, mm. take the D. Farther. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Who's got a funny name in here? <laughs> there, there's a fucking. Where's my phone? There was a the, like some MMA fighter's name that I just couldn't believe it. I was like, what? That's a fucking. Uh, here it is. Hold up, I'm gonna get it. Did you start this right when we started recording? <coughs> More or less, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we got a rough. We got a rough estimate right there. Yeah, peep this dude's name. What else has happened? I feel like a lot happened in the last 24 hours. Not really. No, we were just talking about some shit. Pittsburgh's Wait. Pittsburgh's crazy. You can just smoke inside bars in Pittsburgh? Yeah. I didn't know that still existed in yeah. America. Yeah, so this dude's name. <laughs> He's fighting Eddie Alvarez, which is like a good fight. Timothy Nastyukin. <laughs> Timothy. Timothy. <laughs> T- an F. T-I-M-O-F-E-Y. Timothy Nasty Uckin. It sounds like someone like with a speech impediment saying yeah. Timothy. Yeah. Timothy. Tim- sounds like a three year old saying it. Mm-hmm. Timothy. Or, or an English person. Timothy. Timothy. Timothy Nasty Uckin. Nasty Uckin. That's a pretty great name. Yeah, but Nasty Uckin. <laughs> definitely a, a finishing move. I'm going to give you the <laughs> Nasty Uckin right there. <laughs> oh, oh, dude. oh, that's definitely a finishing move. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Isn't this cool? Just. Just we can say these jokes. Yep. And it's almost like they just go out to thousands of people, but it's like click of a button. The click of a button. Amazing. I, no, so I don't cool. like this. I don't like this bit. The fucking cool cool technology, Dad. Hey. Amazing. <laughs> so cool. So you just speak right here into this microphone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. So every it's... every parent FaceTiming. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> or do, using Skype for the first time. <laughs> Oh my God, he's right there on the screen. Okay, now that dad, but talking to his cam girl daughter. <laughs> so you just you just flick the bean right here in front of this thing. Yeah. So you all mean, you do is show your pussy and just, millions of people donate money so do, through the internet. So do you rub the bean all day? <laughs> oh, it's a it's a trick. It's a gimmick. Okay, so sh- show me. Oh, that's what your mother must be doing. Okay. Jesus. So you flick the bean. Okay, you're flicking the bean, right? Okay, fine. It's not the dad. It's not the dad. It's just a de- it's just a technology dad talking to a cam girl. How about that? Yeah, Makes yeah, it that's wholesome. Better. I like that. You don't have to show him, but you, you, you're flicking the bean right here. Just do it right on your jeans. Okay. <laughs> so you're flicking the bean, and then how do they donate? Well, they connect their pay, pay, pay. Now, you say PayPal. What is PayPal? Is that like money order? Yeah, no. It's like money order. Do you send- no? What is a money order? Well, you know when you go to the money order place and you give them cash and then they send the money. I'm pretty sure. I, I'm honestly pretty sure you can tip in money order on the Cam Girl website. No way. I think they take every single type of payment. <laughs> they take a bond that exists. And take a <laughs> you bond. can trade in a bond. Probably. <laughs> that would be a great way to get paid. Honestly. A bond. Yeah, better than fucking crypto. <laughs> At least you know it's going to hold its value. That's the... Dude. <laughs> you you got to be in a sad place if you're turning in bonds <laughs> for a shout out on, on my free cams. <laughs> I've cashed... I have, I have 17 bond certificates and I would... I would love it if you could just say my name while you flick your bean there. That's very nice. I'm very wealthy in bonds. <laughs> <laughs> just a got that old, bond money. Just an old distinguished man yeah. wanting a shout out on I this website. Many bonds. <laughs> just yelling at his assistant. <laughs> Tell the nice girl I have 30 bonds, <laughs> each valuing $10 that I put up in the 1950s <laughs> after the war. <laughs> <laughs> how many dude do, how you have many, any bonds no you have any stocks you trade stocks at all used to I don't mm. really don't have the old portfolio no more mm. you out of the market I am out of the market I've mm. been for a minute uh oh somebody's somebody just came on the bus yeah, we're on the bus by the way if you're not watching the video oh yeah this is the 
This is the the TB. This is the back lounge, baby. The tour bus. The, yeah, the good old bus. This fucking bus is so much better than the first one we yeah, had. It rules. This we didn't even have a well, we had a back lounge like this, but it was like half the size and rock hard seats. Just no one ever was back there because it was just not nah. conducive to hanging out. This is so relaxing. Well, not only was it not conducive to hanging out, we just like we just was fucking. We just threw shit back there. Because there was nothing else yeah. you could do with the room. Yeah. Not like anyone would just go chill back there. Yeah. It was terrible. This actually has like a nice like feel to it. It's got like a TV and stuff like that. This yeah. back room's cool as hell. We could, we could do work in here. Yeah. Did, That's we, what I was doing. I was editing earlier. Could fuck around do a reaction video in here. Yeah, we might. I mean, hell. I might get on the old cam and start flicking my bean in here. Yeah, do it. <laughs> do that. Get those. Hey, man, I, I just need the back lounge. I'm, I'm going to put my... You know, I'm play with my bussy for a little bit. Yeah. So don't come in. Yeah. I'm gonna be uh I'm gonna be streaming on Camversity. What? Streaming on Twitch. <laughs> back there. Camversity. <laughs> Did you know a hemorrhoid is actually just the clitoris for the bussy? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry, that's just a What? Because you know it's like a little yeah, it's no, like I a little it. nub okay, above the hole. I get it. I get it. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> water. There it is. I'm pumped for the show tonight, man. I am. It's gonna be a really dope show. This venue is sick. Northeast has been great so far. First 24 hours have been fucking dope. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Our new bus driver's great. I haven't even met him. Really? Yeah. He's a good guy. Nice dude. Yeah. Yeah. I um. Yeah. I just fucking passed out last night. It was mm-hmm. tight. Anyway. Uh, what is it, this news clip? What is this news clip? <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. So by the time you're watching this, it's going to be way in the future. So this is yeah. old news by this point. But I got to play this. I'm going to try to sync this up. It's some shit that really... I, you, know, you think? You don't really need the visual. And I don't know how we're going to... Yeah, yeah, here. Let me just play it. We'll watch it all the way through. Do you want me to like pause it and shit like that? Oh, yeah. No, we can listen to the whole thing. It's only 45 seconds long. Okay, yeah, just play it all the way through, and then we'll then we'll yap it up. Okay. Yeah, we yamp it up, and then I can sync it up with the clip. And then, uh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. Okay. Hold on, oh. hold on. Twitter video sucks. It blows asshole. Ready? Yep. So this is something that's, like, been going viral on Twitter. And a sketch. Good morning, TPS students. It is testing week, and it's time to slay all day. Mm-hmm. Stay woke, be all on fleek. Get that Gucci breakfast. Goals. Say bye, Felicia, to that testing stress. <laughs> Weather's going to be turfed, right, Chris? Yes. Toledo weather going to be the lit during testing week. A hundo P chance of success. You got this, kids. Steve, how about that traffic? Are we looking old? Better than old. We're talking turf. FOMO. Won't be an issue. No traffic problems around any TPS schools <laughs> to keep you from taking those tests. What the fuck? Uh, yeah. What the fuck? What was that shit he did with the? He's trying to do the Cardi thing. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Holy shit. That was that was very, that was dope. Mission accomplished by them. That's basically like our fucking bachelor character. Just yeah. Just just so much worse. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Liddy Bay fam all in the gang out here. They, yeah, yeah. It's just, and the worst part is it was like they were all like dated references too. Yeah, yeah. Like by Felicia. Who the fuck yeah. is by Felicia on anymore? Fleek. <laughs> on fleek. Get that Gucci breakfast. What does that even mean? Yeah, I don't know. Looking <laughs> designer it breakfast. Is turnt. Turnt. And f- no FOMO out here, guys. <laughs> oh my God. FOMO is from like 2010. <laughs> <laughs> what even what even is the point of that? Was that, was it was it, they have some meeting where they're like, okay, we have to appeal, like we're losing our audience, man, or, no, our I, audience. I, we gotta we gotta appeal to teens. No, nah, I feel like um, no teen is watching local news on cable. No, nah, I feel like a like a smart writer just wrote it that way, just so it would go viral on yeah, Twitter. Yeah, just going insane. Like I'm gonna just feed them some stupid ass shit for them to say. I don't buy that. Yeah, I mean. It makes that less funny to me. <laughs> if it's intentional? Yeah, because it feels like we got gamed. I think we might I, have. No, I just want to think that that's four people that just are so, <laughs> so far out of touch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is this? Oh, <laughs> oh, 
Okul, I can't even roll my tongue like that. How do they do that? The okul, okul, I can't do it. Okur, I can't do it. Okay, okay. How do you? It's so tough. How do you? So, so they do the okur, the okur. They do that thing. Okur. On your bean, on the camera. Okur. <laughs> Did I get it there? The okur. Oscar. <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> what if he couldn't do the sound? What yeah, if he's not just... even able to roll his tongue at all? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he just. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what if he couldn't do it? And they're like, "Well, just let Janet take it." He's like, "No, I want to try. <laughs> I want to try. I think I can do it. I think I got it." You can't do it now. How could you do it on? No, I can. On camera I got it. Rolling? I got it. I got really? it. Okay, I got it. Fine. Okay. Fine. Speeding. Yeah, we're speeding. What's up, Bay Fam? Let's get it lit with those good grades out there. Okur. <laughs> Okur. All right, let's cut. Let's cut. <laughs> you sure? No, I got well, it. We could just get Janet let's to do, do it again. It. No, Janet. No, Janet gets everything. Let's do it. Come on, Are speeding. I don't know. Well, fine. Let's just speed one more time. Let's do it. All right, speeding. All right, we're a hundo P with you out there, students. Uh, we want to make sure you're getting that good Gucci news, so we want to let you get an Okur breakfast. Get the Okur breakfast. <laughs> you just said Okur. You just said Okur. <laughs> you didn't even. You didn't even try. You just said it with an R. Okur. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm going to just do that shit the next time I nut. Uh, 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 oh, <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know what we could talk about? Daddy wants some <laughs> milk. <laughs> uh, Cody and I got on Instagram Live, and uh, Cody put on the, the cat filter, and then I did because it was too goddamn funny. And then we had a two-camera setup. Mm. So I was getting him with the cat filter from the medium, and he was on the close-up. That was dope. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> Daddy wants some, some milk. milk. <laughs> Meow. I want some whole milk. milk. <laughs> Full fat. <laughs> <laughs> that's like that's like some creepy like old people role play <laughs> like 45 year olds doing role play <laughs> just with a little cat hat oh i'm a cat <laughs> yeah you're a cat yeah you're a little <laughs> cat aren't you meow <laughs> why don't you meow for me little meow. minx oh, oh yeah oh yeah you want some milk <laughs> she's getting she's getting too into it Stop scratching me. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. Stop punching me in the fucking head. <laughs> Ow, what the fuck? He's just playing with a ball of yarn. <laughs> are we going to fuck or are you just going <laughs> to... <laughs> All right. All right, come on. Knock it off. Come on, let's fuck now. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Get that yarn out of your pussy. What are you doing? Ew, you're pushing it. In. What are you doing? Are we gonna are we gonna fuck? Or <laughs> what are you <laughs> Meow 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 <laughs> Just lapping up a bowl of milk. Where'd you even get that? I thought it I thought the milk was like a Meow I thought it was supposed to be like a reference to like my <laughs> come. You ever, you ever done any like role play, like for real role play? No. I <laughs> Sav I never. Have I? No, have I, ever I haven't. Done role play? Have you? Nah, not like legit role play. <clears throat> yeah, no, never, <laughs> never like the shit where um, you open the door and she's like, I have a fucking. <laughs> she's like, I, I need somewhere to. She's wearing a rain jacket, you know? Yeah. And she's like, I'm sorry. I I need to use the phone. And she drops this thing. She's completely naked. That shit? You're talking about? Like from sitcoms. Um, Where uh, she's like wearing a trench coat and then she opens it up and she's completely naked. I mean, no, nah, I'm talking like. No, that's not role playing. That's just. It's just showing up at someone's house naked. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's just being horny. Yeah, that's role playing as a horny person. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean role playing like. That's role play as two people that are horny. No, I'm role. I mean, <laughs> I mean role playing is like, like I'm Mark Weems and my girl is a delicious bowl of chili. Yeah, or like a bon me or something. Yeah, mm. 
Yeah, or like, uh, you know, you're under arrest. Cert, you know, I'm going to search your whole body with my mouth. <laughs> We're going to do a cavity <laughs> search. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Yum. <laughs> mm. uh, get in the comments your if you've ever had taste a... like boobs. <laughs> Mm, your supple boobies. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm so nurturing and mm, oh, yeah, that tastes like skin. Um, <laughs> you lick it long enough. I'm curious to know if anyone's done any role play. I, I think. Oh no, what were we talking about yesterday? Oh yeah, no, that's what we're talking. <laughs> Freaky fans. Like. I forgot who it was. Someone mentioned a, a like they phrased it as a a freaky fan. Oh yeah, what was that? Oh, someone in during v- the Q and A? No, it was in oh. the VIP. Someone like phrased it as a freaky fan, and then I was laughing at the idea of a, someone being a fan of just anyone and being like, "I mean, bitch, chill out. <laughs> I'm a fucking freak. <laughs> what? I'm a freak, homie. <laughs> Let me get this picture. <laughs> you go to the line to take the picture. I got a." I got a vibrator on my ass right now. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I got a butt plug in right now. <laughs> I wore Damn, it. you are a freak. Yeah, I wore it for the picture. <laughs> but they don't want sex. They just want to let you know that they're a fucking freak. Yeah, they're a freak. I'm a freak fan. You got any what? freak fans? We got tons of freaks. We got super freaks. Yeah, we got s- freaky fans. You know what I hate is how you know what the new uh you know what the new Tatiana is? What? Doubling words. Oh, he a freak freak. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Suburban kids just learned that one. Mm -hmm. Doubling words. Mm. Oh, he a freak freak. That's so FOMO. Yeah, it's so FOMO on Bay. Mm -hmm. On the Bay, dude. The Bay gang lit. That's yeah, not turned at all. I hate how you said that and you just like did the bottle flip. Mm -hmm. (laughs) You can't see it on camera, (laughs) but he just did a water bottle flip (laughs) and it landed up. That's so Bay fam on lit. (laughs) Yeah, dude, that's fucking on God. Damn it. <laughs> That's so fam. Hey, we are getting turnt. Stay woke, ladies there and is. gentlemen. There it is. There Boom. It is. You know you know what there needs to be? There. AirPods in. Bottle flipped. <laughs> the FOMO <laughs> off. <laughs> hey, fam. <laughs> turnt Liddy no, on dude. the gang. Here's a tweet. <sighs> Thought Tiana busting it down? Check. <laughs> Squat it up with the fam. Check. Check. I don't know. On God. Yeah. Oh yeah. Busting down on God. Check. Check. With the gang. <laughs> Check. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. With the gang. Check. Busting down. Check. Tatiana. Check. <laughs> it's gonna be a good night. It's lit lit. It's lit lit. Ooh, it's lit lit. Ugh. It is lit lit. Slang sucks, man. We're getting. This is this is we're actually getting old because slang is just starting to suck ass. No, dude. No. Cause it's like when I hear people say no cap, I'm like, oh. It's it's whack White because kids. they took it from yeah, rappers. No, no cap. No cap. Yeah, because they take Oh, it. that's cap. That's cap. <laughs> You're capping right now, dude. Yeah. Stop You're capping. capping. They they apply it to shit that is so mundane. Uh-huh. Yo, no cap. Subway's lit. Yeah, dude, you're yeah, capping yeah. for Subway, yeah, dude. Yeah. Stop it. Dude, Nathan is not having a party tonight. You're capping. He, he would have told me. That's cap. Dude, that's cap. Whatever. That's cap. You're capping. <laughs> it's just when... Nathan, are you having a party? So you're not capping? I thought he was capping. You weren't capping. He is having a party. That's not cap. <laughs> what? <laughs> Trevor, what the fuck did you just say? <laughs> cap. Cap, oh, cap. That's fuck. cap. Cap, no cap. Oh, he's no cap, no cap. Oh, no cap, cap. Wow. <laughs> God damn it, dude. I hate that shit. <laughs> That's fam fam. It's just when, yeah, it's just when suburban kids take some shit that rappers say and then just they abuse the fuck out of it. Is that from, that's from the Drake song? Okay. Oh, you rich, rich. I, I mean, I think, I don't know where people got it from, but people have just started Doubling shit. Oh, yeah, freak, freak. <coughs> yeah, that, that. Mm. That's old as hell. Yeah. That's old as hell. Mm-hmm. FOMO, FOMO. FOMO, FOMO. Oh, that's FOMO, FOMO. <laughs> oh, he's feeling FOMO, FOMO. Yeah. So where are you going to be when this episode comes out? We are going to be... Where are you going to be? Aren't you going to be somewhere? Nah. We're already going to be back from shit? Nah, nah, nah. This You're going to be in Europe. 
I will be getting, yeah, this will be the week of Nashville. So I'll be getting ready to head out to gotcha. Europe. Got it. Europe. 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 Yo, he's fucking, speaking of accents, what was that video you sent me the other week of that Ukrainian girl just going off on American oh culture? That God. was crazy. Wait, I got to play this. I got to play it. Oh, I sent it to <laughs> yeah, the, PRPP. Yeah, yeah the, pe- the penis, the People's Republic of the Penis Palladium. Mm-hmm. We have not died. Oh, we could talk about this shit. Oh, no, we already talked about that shit. Yeah. What's the motherfucking tea, That's sis? That's the motherfucking tea, sis. Check the motherfucking tea. I got to find this fucking video. Okay, here. Oh, no. <laughs> not that one. No, 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 no. No, not that one. <laughs> we got some bad shit so in So this there. is like some model. Uh, that Yeah, here it is. She's responding to some DM she got about how she keeps her skin so clear okay an innocent question <laughs> just a fair question and she just oh my god twitter twitter videos for all people that keep asking me how the hell do i keep my skin clear <laughs> whole foods no sugar protein <laughs> she's going through i'm just, just gonna describe this yeah you yeah, don't yeah. really need to see it so she's <laughs> going through her fridge right now and she's just grabbing like the foods that she's referring to one at a time and going <laughs> no sugar protein yeah and grabbing like her and they're all like whole foods there's like raspberries and like yeah it's just you no know, like organic bread and shit yeah no added sugar no palm oil no sugar ingredients peanuts peanuts what the, candy. what the fuck is she listening My to? Other candy. candy was raspberries and blueberries. Candies. More oranges. <laughs> My soda. It's tea. My other soda. More tea. Want some gem? 100% from fruit. No sugar. 100% fruit. Guess what? It's got no sugar. No cane sugar. Whatever is on your face comes from the inside. Stop eating shit and sugar. Want some ice cream? Well, guess what? High in protein. No sugar. <laughs> and if anyone will dare to tell me that those things are tasteless, bad news for you because that just means you've been eating so much shit since you were born that actual natural food is tasteless to you because you've been eating everything packed with fucking sugar since you were born. But trust me, little baby angels, as soon as your body gets oh, rid of all the crap you've been eating So years, condescending. This food is going to taste like heaven. Your skin is going to look healthy and glow when you just got to be smart. Because honestly, I have no fucking idea what the hell to expect from your skin if you treat your body like a trash can. Oh, oh that's so cool. I wish you got I wish I could see it. When people <laughs> don't have an obsession with fucking fast food where we go to the next street and we get actual real fruit, vegetables, fruits from little grannies that just picked it up from their gardens <laughs> that they raised. Okay, so we got it. Waste. We got <laughs> it, lady. Coast twenty pounds. Steam your shit. Don't fry it. Don't do it. Steam it. Boil it. Eat it raw. Don't fry it in shit ton of Oil. What's with uh, like the the hitting shit style yeah. of filming things? Yeah. Sugar. Yeah, just fucking pound just slamming things. You know, for fucking <laughs> ten dollars. <laughs> Steam it. Your shit. No oil. <laughs> just punching all her. Fucking- <laughs> <laughs> just, just punching the no shit. No oil. Steam the shit. Steam it. <laughs> Crash it. <laughs> Dude. Oh fuck! I fucked that shit up, dude. <laughs> Cody just fucking smashed. steam the shit. A fucking bottle no of water. leaking. <laughs> oh my god, dude! We're gonna throw a fucking towel down on this shit. <laughs> she just fucking no soda, water. Dude. I want to parody that shit, but just <laughs> talk about how. Some of you ask how I make my face look like shit. Let me show you. <laughs> I just open my fridge. It's full of like Taco Bell and just garbage. And you I'm- pick up a crunch wrap and just boot it across the fucking <laughs> room. Fucking- crunch wrap, supreme. 
bags of chips. I'm <laughs> sucking the shit out of them. <laughs> Hot Cheeto. <laughs> cool Ranch Dorito. Dorito. <laughs> Put it in your fucking mouth. <laughs> Eat it. <laughs> <laughs> My stomach, dude, I'm crying. <laughs> I have no idea what to expect out of your skin if you're eating healthy <laughs> food. Raspberries. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking, trying to think of more shitty. Chocolate, put it in your <laughs> fucking face. Taco Bell, put it in your fucking mouth. <laughs> Trust me, little baby. Once you eat enough shit, your face will finally look normal. <laughs> it will taste like heaven. Yeah. You will look like a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> She's such an asshole about She's it. She's such an ass, dude. That was the most condescending video ever. She's like, hey, I'm a model. Let me show you how what I do. Yeah, it has Trust me, little babies. Yeah. And she the worst part was was that she's like she's like, You've been eating shit your whole fucking life. It's like, yeah, but that's like half Half of the, it's like not their fault. Yeah. Their parents have been feeding them fucking sugar since they were a kid. I know, dog. It's like, it's like also, yeah, maybe it all, like her fucking attitude. Yeah, you have clear skin, but maybe you're also a fucking model. <laughs> you dick. <laughs> not everyone is built like you, you fucking asshole. You think if, if we all just magically get clear skin, we just, now we're just clear skin Oompa Loompas. Like yeah. we're still fucking, <laughs> we're still built the way we're built. You son of a bitch. <laughs> it's, it must be. A lot so of you have been eating so much shit since you were born. <laughs> it must be so like, nice. Yeah, but this is. I'm <laughs> sorry, we don't Picture. have like grannies with <laughs> farms like yeah. next door to us. <laughs> there's not. There's. I don't know a single farm <laughs> around where I live. <laughs> <laughs> there's not one granny. No, there's there's Bristol Farms. Bristol Farms. Yeah, yeah. there's a fucking it's a grocery yeah, store. I know. <laughs> There's exactly. Br there's Bristol Farms and there's um uh Auntie we don't have grannies, we got Auntie Anne's pretzels. Yeah. Oh, those are fucking good, <laughs> dude. Those are good. Put That'll the make your shit in your fucking face. <laughs> That'll make your shit break out. Put the pretzel in your fucking mouth. <laughs> Want some gym? <laughs> she punch, she <laughs> punching everything. Punching the jam. <laughs> Want some gym? Just fucking smashes the fucking <laughs> bottle on the counter. She's so fucking rude, dude. Beer, drink it. <laughs> <laughs> Alcohol, shove it in your mouth. <laughs> Suck it down. <laughs> Pop tart, eat it. Eat it. Eat more. Eat. <laughs> eat whole box of Pop Tart. <laughs> Cheesecake, eat it. <laughs> Cheesecake, eat it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Mint chip ice cream breakfast. <laughs> Jimmy John overload with meat and cheese after breakfast. <laughs> uh, Thai tea with boba snack. Suck it down. Suck it. Put it in your fucking face. <laughs> Jersey Mike sub. Put it in your ass. <laughs> you gotta take a quick break. Oh, we got to take a break? Just a quick one. All right, quick break. We'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, this week we want to thank Me Undies for sponsoring this episode. Look, you all probably spend about 90% of your life in your underwear. At least we hope. So don't you think you owe it to yourself to make sure you're wearing the softest undies in town? These undies are so soft, they make Bob Ross's voice sound like Gilbert Gottfried. And if your boxers feel like Gilbert Gottfried, then God bless your asshole. You need something better. Me Undies uses the coveted micromodal fabric, which is three times softer than cotton. All right. They offer multiple style options for both men and women. And they're doing a great offer right now for all of our listeners. Any first time purchases, you can get 15% off and free shipping. If you're interested in that and you want to soften up what's going on in your pants, you want to get Gilbert Gottfried out of your pants, head on over to meundies.com slash TMG. That's meundies.com slash TMG. Get 15% off your first pair with free shipping and a 100% satisfaction guarantee. Ever since I switched to me undies, all right, it, I genuinely feel better in my pants, okay? Dare I say it, it feels like Bob Ross is in my pants every day. Uh, jeans are a lot more comfortable, and I enjoy them on my body. So if you want Bob Ross in your pants, again, head on over to meundies.com slash TMG. 
We also want to thank Stamps.com for sponsoring this week's episode. We love Stamps.com. We've used it to send you guys stuff in the past and continue to use it to send you guys stuff now. Um, Stamps.com is great because you don't have to go to the post office, all right? You don't have to deal with the traffic, the parking, bringing all your packages to the post office, all right? If you're trying to start a business or you just got a lot of stuff to send, uh, this shite is super awesome, and I'll tell you why. You can print out a label for any letter, any package, any class of mail, anywhere you want to send it, doesn't matter. You just print it out, slap it on your product, and hand it to your mail carrier or drop it in your mailbox, and voila, it goes away. You never have to think about it again. Plus, when you use stamps.com, you save five cents off of every first class stamp uh, and up to 40% off of priority mail. And if you're sending a lot of stuff, that definitely adds up. It's a no brainer. And if you're interested in getting a four week trial plus free postage and a digital scale without any long term commitment, you can head on over to stamps.com, click the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in TMG. Again, that's stamps.com. Click the microphone at the top of the page. If you don't know what a microphone is, it captures your voice uh, and brings it in the computer. That's besides the point. Click the microphone at the top of the page and type in the letters TMG and get a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale right now. What are you waiting for? Let's do it. Caramelized turkey covered in sugar. <laughs> Put it in your fucking face. <laughs> eat it. Eat it. Eat it. M&M's. <laughs> eat them. <laughs> Reese's Pieces. Eat them. <laughs> <laughs> ramen noodles with 20 eggs and chicken inhale it the whole bowl mcdonald's go there <laughs> god damn it dude must be so like must be a crazy feeling to just be a hot person and then you just get on instagram and you're like i'm gonna tell everyone to eat fruit Mm-hmm. Today, mm-hmm. I'm gonna fucking make them feel like shit. Yeah, because right. you, you idiots. <clears throat> this is what you've been doing wrong the whole time. The you whole... could be me. Yeah, <laughs> you could be this. You just gotta stop eating sugar, <laughs> dude. Didn't she point to like blueberries as like one of her first like whatever? Yeah, it was a candy, <laughs> dude. More candy. I guess the FDA puts out a list every year of like, or like, of like the dirt, like the, f- the fruits that are covered in the most pesticides, blueberries is like top three. <laughs> I think it was number one. Really? Yeah. So what are you saying? Don't eat blueberries? Yeah, it's just like, it, that's not the fucking, it's not the solution, man. There's more <laughs> shit. Like it, it just goes beyond eating fucking fruit, you dummy. <laughs> yeah, it's candy covered in fucking pesticides. <laughs> pesticides, eat them. Eat that fucking pesticide. Eat them. <laughs> this bottle of Lysol. <laughs> Put a straw in it. Drink the whole thing. Bleach and ammonia. Inhale it. (laughs) (laughs) Gasoline. Put it in your nose. (laughs) Inhale it. (laughs) Chloroform. Breathe it only a little bit. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking hell, dude. God damn it. <clears throat> Her fridge looked empty as hell, too. Oh, yeah. That shit's depressing. Depressing and expensive, too. Yeah. That's yeah. an expensive way to eat. Yeah. we. <clears throat> my mom sent me an email, and she was like, she's like, hey, I don't know if you've used this gift certificate yet. And it was uh, one that she got me like for my birthday or for Christmas or whatever. It was a Whole Foods gift certificate. Yeah. And I think it was for like 100 bucks or something. Okay. I didn't check how much it was for. I just assumed probably for like 100 bucks or something like that. So uh-huh. I went to Whole Foods. This is right before we left. I bought 300 bucks worth of stuff. Jeez. Which, I mean, I didn't know it was 300 bucks. I bought yeah. a shrimp cocktail. It was 15 bucks for a fucking, like, eight pieces of shrimp. I didn't even look. I was just like, yeah, it can't be that much, right? I thought, and so I get to the till, I open up the gift card in my email, and I drill into the email. Because before I just saw the subject line. Yeah. Drill into the email. It says zero bucks left on the gift card. Rip. <laughs> God damn. Rip. I bought all this fucking food right before I left. And there's nothing. Yeah. And she's doing that every single... That's like 300 bucks worth of food right there, what she was pointing to. God. Yeah. I mean, Organic yeah. food is no joke. Nah. That, that shit adds up so fast. That shit is robbery. Oh, yeah. At Whole crazy. Foods. That's why you got to go to Trader Joe's, man. Trader Joe's charges you the appropriate price. Yeah, Trader Joe's is great. 39 cents for a whole bag of spinach, as mm. it should be. Mm-hmm. Whole Foods, $9 for spinach. Spinach. And then you got to fucking like, pe- you gotta, like, peel it yourself. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Trader Joe's always has like the best... 
like containment for stuff. Yeah. Like definitely. you know what I mean? Like they everything right. comes like pre cut and pre whatever. It's like I don't want to do any of that <laughs> shit. I'm not yep. a fucking chef. I don't want to cut no. onions. Yeah, pre diced onions. Pre diced. It's the best. It's the money. It saves you so much time. Yeah. It's the fucking what money. What do I I'm not what do I look like? <laughs> Gordon Ramsay? I'm not gonna cut my own onion. Elena's just super versatile in the kitchen and she gets like frustrated when I suck ass in the kitchen. I'm just like <clears throat> I remember one time we always get in like petty arguments when we cook together. And she's like, you know, she's being like, you're cutting the onions like reckless. You're going to cut yourself. And like, and like I, I, I needed them yesterday. And I'm like, chill out, Gordon Ramsay. If I fucking like I needed them yesterday. That's such a kitchen term. I know. Like she didn't that's say like that, chef. but it's like, that's like, I her. need these yesterday, yeah. people. <laughs> it's like, it's like her attitude about it. I remember one time I was like, dude, if I was just like, I want you to help me edit this video. Yeah. Go. I'm like, why, why aren't you, why did you slice the cut point there? Why don't you fucking do a J cut? Why are you cutting? Why are you not doing a J cut? She's like, okay, fine. I need fine. this render yesterday, yeah. please. <laughs> this episode's going to be clippy as hell. <laughs> but they fucking, I, was to, I can't punch anything with where I'm at. <laughs> Clip it. I can't punch a damn thing. Sugar, sugar, sugar. <laughs> eat it, eat it. Reese's pieces, eat them. Eat the chips, eat it. <laughs> Put the whole fucking can of Pringle in your fucking mouth. mouth. <laughs> Phone, use it. Screen, stare at them. Percocets, take them. Ethanol, more ethanol. Don't drink regular alcohol. <laughs> drink the straight <laughs> ethanol that is in Grain the... Grain alcohol. <laughs> Eat it. <laughs> Matt, <laughs> that's the weirdest time to come in on this shit. Our TM just opened their fucking door. He's like, what are you doing? What? Yeah. <laughs> you just hear like, banging. What? what are they doing? <laughs> he just wanted to know what we were doing because all he heard was smacking. <laughs> Sex habit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, you need to. <laughs> he said. <"T> <laughs> Wait, are we getting food? Oh yeah, let's do it. Yeah, before it. Hungry as dick. Um. Yeah, we could do it before. He's asking us if we want food before or after. <sighs> yeah, I'm down for before. Yeah. Set us a menu and we'll, we'll fucking... We okay. want fucking ethanol and Pringles to put in our fucking face. Need it. <laughs> Sugar, you want some, Jim? <laughs> you want some, Jim? <laughs> Did you hear what he said? <laughs> you can buy my house. <laughs> So we got to tell this story because this shit is money. Yeah, yeah, tell it. So one of Matt's friends is walking around in Philly and some homeless dude comes down the street on a bike, pulls up right next to him, looks him cold in the eyes and goes, you think you can buy my house, huh? No, you think you could buy my house, you fat bitch? <laughs> so no, I, mean. I thought there was a space. I don't think so. I think it was just one thing. I thought he was like, you think you can buy my house, huh? You fat bitch. <laughs> And then he just took off on his bike. That's then, so cold. That, that's, that's so it. cold. Not letting someone have the chance to even respond just, oh, uh, is the best way to like <laughs> insult someone. You know what I'm saying? Like even though this homeless person had no idea what the fuck he was saying. Like that's so cold. Just being like you fat bitch and then just riding off and they're like. <laughs> what? Oh, what? <laughs> and, and apparently his friend was like, I mean, I've been trying to lose weight. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine like dieting for two weeks, going to the gym every day, feeling good about yourself. You shred off a couple pounds, and then some homeless person calls you a fat bitch. Yeah, and the homeless and confidence dude. just <laughs> crashed. And you can't even be like, you can't even say anything back because all the fucking drugs he's done has got him thin as shit. Yeah, exactly. He's just weirdly thin and in shape. He weirdly looks really good. Yeah, you're like, what? What the fuck off, dude? <laughs> You're like your face tats actually look kind of dope. <laughs> you just get to use drugs all day. I gotta work for this shit, dude. <laughs> Crack, smoke it, smoke it. Fucking a, dude. Oh, I'm still laughing at that. Just her, she was punching everything <laughs> in her fucking kitchen. Just so mad. <laughs> it's like, hey, who are you mad at? Yeah, I mean, oh. I. Maybe she gets that. How did this even pop up on my fucking screen? Okay, that's sick. Teen dies of tapeworm egg infestation in the brain. Well, everybody just has to live with that thought now. That's the most horrifying thing I've ever 
<laughs> and I don't even know. I didn't open the news app. Why? How did this happen? Why did they? Yo, the, the <laughs> size of his brain. This, was this an Amber Alert? <laughs> did uh, yeah. everyone get this on their phones I, at the same time? No, I didn't get that shit. Teen dies of tapeworm, <sighs> tapeworm egg infestation in brain. That's tight, dude. How does that? Ha- how does that happen? Tapeworm. Yeah, find out how the how no, it got there. I don't want to. Why? It might be a like a absurd enough story that only like ten percent of us are afraid of. Yeah, the, the rest of the ninety percent. His parents said that their son had felt pain in his right groin for a week. A physical exam revealed that he had confusion and tenderness in the right testes. Okay. Oh, so he's had sensitive balls. <clears throat> sensitive balls. And then what? And then I guess they did an MRI and they found out that he had fucking shit in his brain. So how did he die? I guess, I don't know. I don't even want to read this anymore. Are you really that afraid? <clears throat> that shit scares the fuck out of me. <laughs> you ever heard of that disease where like you just can't sleep and you just eventually yep, die? Yep, I don't want to talk about that either. <laughs> Do not want to talk about that at all. <laughs> Cody's actually scared right now. I'm reading a book on sleep, and the <laughs> author of that book brought it up, and I was like, I skipped the paragraph because I was like, I don't oh, fucking hear. Oh, that, that, that sounds that like is... fucking torture. Oh, dude, it's scary. Yeah. It's scary shit, it's, man. It's unbelievable how how much sleep matters. Yeah. It's unfucking believable. Mm-hmm. It's like kind of a. Uh, a so this book it's is kind of slept on how important sleep it's is. Kind of slept on a little bit yeah. on the gang gang. Yeah, <laughs> sleep is mad slept on. Oh, that's a bust down, bust down. Yeah. <clears throat> um, no, I'm reading this book. It's called Why We Sleep. It's about this PhD that's been, or by a PhD that's been uh, researching sleep for like 20 years or something. Oh wait, and I'll, it's just incredible how much sleep actually matters and how much America doesn't get it. I was gonna point out. Right there, just a. Uh, I could uh, hear Sam quipping to that. What? That's a stupid fucking book. Because we need to. What? Wait, what? I could imagine Sam responding to that. Like you say, I'm reading this book called Why We Sleep. And he's like, that's a dumb fucking book. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, it's stupid. I can write that book one page because we need it. The end. <laughs> sleep. Next. Don't get it. <laughs> does he like. Stay up. Does he, does he talk about why Americans don't do it? Does he try to tie it to like cell phones or it's not culture? Or I mean, I'm only 10% through the book right now, but it. uh, no, it's a cultural thing. It's like, yeah, we just don't. You know, what's, you know, what's funny is that like, is that like different people have different circadian rhythms. Yeah. Like I'm a morning person, mm-hmm. uh, but like Kelsey's not really a morning person. She likes to sleep in. I can't sleep in. Yeah. And. Like, society has, like, a way of shaming people that like to sleep in and that, like, work better at night. Yeah. Right? Like, our whole structure is based on getting up at 7 a.m. and yep. getting at work at 8 a.m. and shit like that. But the reason it's like that is because when we lived in tribes, like, it makes sense. We sleep in groups. So it makes sense <clears throat> for people to have different rhythms because then there's only, like, a four-hour window during the night where you're completely unprotected. Got it. Because if someone's up, you know, early in the morning, then that's, like... Someone's yeah. protecting the group or whatever right. at that time, whereas people stay up at later points in the night. I don't know. It's cool. And so, like, people, that's a genetic, genetic thing. Mm. And so you kind of have to, like, respect people's, like, wake, like, when people are alert and when they're not. Yeah, I, like, I I think <clears throat> my circadian rhythm is get high and watch Periscope till 2, mm-hmm. <laughs> then wake up at 10. Hey, if that's your rhythm, man. I don't know. That's your rhythm. <laughs> if I if I can get to sleep at eleven and sleep like nine hours, <clears throat> then I can get up in the morning. But it's like I can't do any less than that. It's the weirdest shit. Can you? But you can work like at at eleven. <clears throat> oh hell yeah! Yeah, you can. Yeah, I can. Because you know, there's people that like like just stay up till four every yeah, night. Yeah. And they like to like they feel great at like three a.m. Yeah. Yeah, I I'm pretty like I can be pretty like razor sharp till about one and two in the morning yeah yeah hmm. are your parents which one of your parents are like that my dad okay <clears throat> that motherfucker stay up till three four in the morning gotcha writing code just stone awake hmm. yeah his brain's always on that, isn't that interesting though yeah it is no a it is thing yeah it's it is kind of crazy that it's genetic <clears throat> I also, the craziest shit is that it like if you don't sleep it like just it triples your risk of getting cancer heart disease everything Really? Yeah, it's what crazy. The fuck. It really fucking matters. Like getting guess, good restful sleep. Mm, caffeine. Shit. The half life of caffeine is like five hours for most people, which means you drink one cup of coffee it takes about ten hours 
Right? Oh, so that's right. Out of your system. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So if you drink coffee like after dinner, yeah, you're, you're pretty fucked. much you pretty much just fucked your sleep up for that night. Damn, it's crazy. It's just a bunch of shit. I mean, like obviously, obviously it's not as extreme as I'm making it sound, but I mean this sure. shit is like serious, and it's just like <clears throat> nobody. I I think it's really interesting because it's the thing that I I know affects me the most in life is yeah. sleep. Yeah. Like at the end of the day, like if it's not it's not like alcohol and drinking, whatever. It's the lack of sleep that happens when I do those things. Yeah. That affects my mood and my anxiety and everything. That's why I don't like to uh, to drink. I know. that I haven't been drinking much for the past two weeks, and it's fucking amazing. I feel incredible. I don't it's know. It's just because I've been sleeping every night. Yeah, I don't know why alcohol makes me, one, the next day, like without fail, alcohol makes me like want to shit a lot. Hmm. I wake up the next day. I have to shit like crazy. <laughs> yeah, how was that? How was that? I just how was that linked to your sleep? No, I'm just like, well, it. I just that's one reason I don't like it. Like I know for sure the next day I'm just gonna be shitting yeah, my yeah, brains out. Yeah, yeah. And then two, I always feel I wake up like super foggy. Like like I didn't sleep. Mm-hmm. You know, like I know I just didn't sleep. Like I get up, and I'm like, I know my eyes were closed, but I definitely was just not fully in it. Yeah, exactly. So that. <clears throat> that is exactly what happens. Alcohol affects your ability to get into REM sleep, which is where your brain like converts short-term memories into long-term memories. Yeah. So if you're not getting REM sleep like consistently, your memory is worse. Mm-hmm. You won't remember things that you're because your ba- your brain basically works like like a computer does when it like has it, like treats short-term memory like RAM. Okay. So if you have too many, it'll just like get rid of the ones that it doesn't think are important, and then when you sleep, it converts the ones that it does think it are important to long-term memories. Which but is, that only happens in REM sleep. Which is insane, because what the fuck controls that in your actual brain? Yeah, I don't know. Chemicals and shit like that. I know, but crazy. that's like yeah. that's fucking wild. No, it's crazy. The and brain there's this, is there's crazy, this, dude. The, yeah, there's this chemical that, that builds up during the day that like basically um, encourages your brain to get into REM sleep like when you're sleeping or whatever. Okay. And an early sign of like dementia and Alzheimer's is like the stopping of that like the your brain like stops producing that chemical basically. Holy shit! But so they can actually like detect it like pretty early on. I think. As oh far my god! As I, I, I've only read a little bit of this book, but. <clears throat> Dude, I want to read this shit. No, it's really fucking interesting. You should. I, I'm trying to, like, seeing you read Spock's reading now, and then like some of his friends are reading. I want to change my schedule so I'm doing a little bit more reading. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Read. Read some. Read books. I mean, not even a people. fucking, doesn't have to be a book per se. Like, could be some fucking, I don't know, some study, some whatever. I just am trying to limit how much garbage intake I have. Because I just have way too many videos and like dark ass memes and shit. Mm-hmm. I feel like consuming all this horrible shit that I've, <laughs> it's going to fuck me up at some point. Like, I'll send you shit and you yeah, go, dude, where do you find this? <laughs> and I'm like, I mean, but like at this point, you're as fucked up as you're going to get, probably. You think? Yeah. I mean, yeah, probably. You know what? The, you know what the best part is is you don't actually have to read. You yeah. just have to take pictures of yourself reading on your story. Yeah, and then you're, and as long as we're talking about reading and stuff like that. Yeah, people think I people read. People think we read, yeah, and like that's and I'm well read. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. all you got to do. That's the take money. A, run yourself a nice bath. <laughs> uh, pour yourself a glass of rosé. There you go. Take a picture of you in the bath reading the Kindle. Boom. Boom. So cute. Yeah. So it's just so in it to. And then the caption: academia. I'm such a nerd. Yeah. He <laughs> with the little buck tooth yep. mm-hmm. emoji. Such a nerd. Such a nerd reading about because I'm reading because I'm reading the Da Vinci Code. Yeah. In a bath. Yeah. I'm reading a fucking Dan Brown novel. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. Did you know that Nicolas Cage movies were based on a book? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. That's dope though. What's the last fucking book I read, dude? I don't even know. Um. Yeah, couldn't put a finger on it. I used to read a lot of like spirituality books and shit. Mm. It's all horse shit though. Mm. <laughs> like the Bible? Nah, nah, nah. I I read like uh, I started reading like a uh, like an annotated version of the Bible. That was kind of interesting. I read an annotated version of uh uh the book that is used in like Hinduism or mm. one of the books. That's cool. The Gita, bro. Read about that. I don't know miscellaneous shit by different like yogis and stuff. Mm. But you know, you st- like they they write some shit where you're like, yeah, like you know, you got different people claiming like they don't eat anymore. 
Like I've read on that. On Earth? Yeah. Like like yogis like, oh, I, eat, I, I don't eat. <laughs> I just consume sunlight and convert it into, it's like food. Yeah. <clears throat> don't eat. Don't eat it. Yeah. You want some gym? Don't, don't eat, eat it. it. Yeah. And like, you know, different. It's so funny now to like, because uh, when I was like rapping in high school and I was making all that shitty music, I would incorporate a lot of those concepts like into like what I was rapping about. And it's so funny mm. now, like 10, 15 years later to hear the word astral, like just fucking thrown up everywhere. Mm. Like because of it, like <clears throat> just horoscope like horoscope shit. Not that or just like, you know, fake ass Instagram yogis like with six packs or even rappers putting that shit in there. Like just that word astral and like astral presence and astral this. It's like, I mean, I've, I've been on that wave. No, I don't know. It's just more like it's such a buzzword. Like I remember even reading those books. That word to me was like, oh, that's really cool. That is a cool word. <clears throat> and these concepts are really interesting. But It's cool because it, I mean, it has ass. It has it. ass in it. Yeah. Kind of like assberry. Exactly. Asberry, eat it. <laughs> eat it. Eat that asberries. <laughs> porn. Watch it. <laughs> Watch porn. Watch porn. porn. Spank off to porn. If you want an unhealthy brain, you have to fill it full of fucking porn. Fill it full of porn. Spank off to the porn. Watch the fart porn. Spank <laughs> to the porn. Watch porn. <laughs> Someone sent us a porn star doing ASMR as like a reaction vid and it was just her live streaming and just like <laughs> periodically being like busting my ass with her boobies out too yeah what when you like went to Pornhub like to look it up just the fucking front page of porn or just any page on Pornhub is so like just in your goddamn face oh yeah like they f they have figured that shit out you just got eight fucking auto playing gifs <laughs> of just like <laughs> Just holes getting rammed in your immediately. Yeah, you open up Pornhub to to find like some some funny like that. You yeah, know? like just in that scenario, we were opening up to like get more info on this one thing, and all of a sudden it's like hypno toad. You know, yeah, yeah. it's like whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. and you start just getting sucked into this like weird yeah. trance where you're like, I gotta, I need to jack off. I need to. I was immediately like, get cl close this man. I don't have to close this. <laughs> did we did we talk about this last time? What are we talking about this with, like, that whole dude shit where dudes sit around and watch porn together? <laughs> yeah, we were talking about that. Yeah. Like, when you're young. Yeah, it's so, wasn't it the, was it the bonus episode we talked about that shit? Um, I don't know. I, I don't know, that shit is so, like, whatever, we're gonna have to cover it again. Yeah. yeah God damn. Hats off to Pornhub that they can get a user in for three seconds. And all of a sudden, <laughs> yeah, they're just, they're just guaranteed to burn. You YouTube wants to be Pornhub so bad, and they can't. Yeah, mm -hmm. they want everything about that platform, and they there's just no way for them to replicate that shit. Mm -hmm. Not at all. I agree. I totally agree. <laughs> they are slowly. Yeah, they slowly, but it's like it's never gonna be as engaging as porn. Mm -hmm. well, can, like you I see, it's like Pornhub needs like real advertisers. <sighs> yeah. I think brands just need to stop being fucking lame about it and just accept it. Like we jack off, we masturbate, everyone is like is into smut. Mm -hmm. It'd be so cool to just fire up Pornhub and <laughs> it just pre rolls a Samsung ad. Yeah, or like a Tide <laughs> ad or something like that. You're like that's that's awesome. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's probably when you're gonna get a good decision out of somebody. So if they're horny mm -hmm. or a, a split decision. <laughs> yeah, not a good decision. Not a good decision. Not Definitely a good decision. Sorry, at I mean all. a split decision. Like opposite. Like he's about to whip it. I was like. Fuck. Yeah. I do need a new washing I machine. I do have to get the jizz stains out of this stuff eventually. <laughs> huh. Well, okay. Samsung.com. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to control click that one, <laughs> save that for later, and then finish, and then. Yeah. He's like, hey, man, you know what? Fuck it. Why not? Let me buy, <laughs> let me buy that fucking shit, dude. <laughs> let me buy that shit. Do you, do you get insanely hungry after sex? No. Not really. I was thinking about that the other day. If I fucking, if I bust down. It's like within without fail. Mm -hmm. I first go into like this twenty minute nap mm -hmm. that is like I cannot be moved. Really? I pretty much die for twenty minutes. I like just roll back. I just roll over and <clears throat> for twenty I'm, minutes cold. Okay. Then I wake up and I'm alert as fuck mm -hmm. and I'm starving. It's the every weird, time. Every time it's the weirdest shit. I'm hungry as fuck. When you jack off too? Uh, no, nah, but if, <laughs> you go into a weird coma right after you jack off. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> No, nah, no. Nah. I dude, I, I can't crank it. 
Just like with our schedules, there's no way. Yeah, Cranking I it. I really, I honestly haven't jerked off in like months. N- there's no way, man. I'll go str- straight to sleep. Mm-hmm. It's just not possible. I no, for me, it's like after after sex. It's just I just want to watch TV. <laughs> she wants to cuddle. You're like, mm-hmm. <laughs> like hold on, this Law and Order. <laughs> yeah, I DVR'd this, and I just want to watch this real quick. Um, no, yeah, watch TV. Yeah, and like drink some tea. Drink some tea. We got this ridiculous tea from Trader Joe's. It's like pomegranate shit. Yeah, is there caffeine it's in it? So or no? no, it doesn't. It's caffeine free, and it nice. tastes like juice. Honestly, so <laughs> it's a nice little nightcap. <laughs> little nightcap. Mm-hmm. Little night no cap. No cap. Little night no cap. No cap. It's a nice little night cap cap. <laughs> yeah, man. I. <clears throat> it's the. I hate how hungry I get. It's so annoying, dude. That's annoying. It's really it. The fucking the other night I did. Oh damn! That. What mm. happened? Your bitch just like my picture. Oh, oh, that's crazy. If she's listening, I'm sorry for calling you a bitch, <laughs> sir. I didn't mean. I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> oh, we got to go sound check, brother. Oh shit. Uh, where are we at? Hold on. We're on the one yard line. Um, we're on the one yard line here. So there we go. This man, I feel so much more comfortable this time around. I feel like we can actually like just fucking goof. Mm-hmm. on the podcast conversation and, and doing the show is a little bit more like natural for us. Yes. And, uh, you know, we can, uh, Oh, wait, 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 we can, we can close it on this dude. Okay, Speaking what? of shows, I got the goddamn f- f- funniest fucking DM the other day. Uh, hold up, 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 hold up. You want some gym? You want some gym? No, 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 no. All right. <laughs> I'm not going to dirt. I'm not going to, Dox our boy. I was going to say Durf because this is a Durf story. Um, so peep this out. Peep this out. Check this <laughs> out. Peep this out, guys. Hey, I have a really good Durfing story. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> every, every Durfing story is a good Durfing story. <laughs> I'm a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Parentheses, we don't call ourselves Mormons anymore. But I was with this chick and her friend who is an open lesbian. <laughs> We went back to this chick's house who I had been with most of the night before the lesbo chick joined us. Okay. Clearly just such a straight dude. Yeah, exactly. Straight white dude. Uh, You know, it's crazy. I used the word chick one time. My dad was like, don't say that. Why? I was like, what do you mean? He's rude. He was just like, they're women. Just don't say that. It it used to be like like uh, like a derogatory term for a woman, didn't it? Chick? I think so, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, but he was just like, don't say that shit. That's funny. Yeah, I almost got my fuck. I was, I almost got punched like a bunch of blueberries. <laughs> like a bag of chips? Yeah. My dad never actually hit me. He just had to like stare at me, and I'm like, <laughs> he could fuck me up. I'm not going to say anything. Anyway, we turn on a movie. Back to the story. We turn on a movie, and I start derfing the straight chick. And the lesbo chick, I don't think, had any idea, but I don't know. I go to finger the chick and she won't let me, so I roll over and stop the derf, but then she starts kissing the lesbian girl. At this point, I'm hella confused, so I go derf with the straight chick's sister and then I leave. <laughs> so this is a derf orgy? It's a, it's a derf G. A derf G? <laughs> I didn't even know that was possible. Holy shit. That, dude, that sounds just like a swingers club. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, swingers, but none of them can actually fuck. Dude, Mormon being Mormon sounds tight. Yeah, dude. that's awesome, dude. Just pull. Oh no wonder. That's a book we should read. Yeah, the Book of Mormon. Book of Mormon. Hey, no, you pull up to the party, and then everyone's just got like really tight five elevens, and you're like, oh, it's going down. Yeah, and you can just see the outline of everyone's shit. You know the vibe. You know the vibe. Yeah. If everyone's got the Lee dungarees that mm-hmm. are like boot cut, mm-hmm. it's not that kind of party. But yep. if it's the five elevens, you know, oh, it. it's like it's time to derf. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's time to derf, dude. Time, time to get down and derfy. <laughs> it's just, there's just a room where a girl just sits there and she's like, "I'm derfing everybody in this fucking party." <laughs> there's another room was just a guy who's like, "Anybody wants to take a ride on on the derf pony?" Derf club. Yeah. Yeah, we're heading out to the derf club. <laughs> Everyone's wearing like leather and shit, but they're only derfing. Oh my god. Okay, you're gonna call me such a slut. Don't say anything. Um, I did a derf bang last <laughs> derf gang. I did a. I did a gang derf last night. Gang derf. It was crazy. <laughs> I let everyone get a turn. <laughs> uh, Man, derf, derf, derf it up. 
All right. Derf, derf, derf it up. Yo, A, um, our mini app, our fucking, let's get the proper date on this. We've done this three episodes and we just don't have it. Let's get the proper date, bro. Proper 12. Uh, no shout out to C. McGregor. He's he's doing some stupid <laughs> shit lately. Okay, we got. I don't fuck with him like that. All right, we got uh, Grand Rapids on June 26th. Milwaukee, June 27th. Minneapolis on June 29th. I think that one sold out. Yeah, June 27th is Mil- is Min- is Milwaukee. Mm-hmm. June 27th, 27th, Milwaukee, Paps Theater. Come on, bo- come on, boys and girls and ladies and gentlemen and derfs and turfs. Come on out to the show. It's gonna be a good show. Um, and we hope to see you there. Yeah, seriously. Thanks, guys. Uh, see you next time. We're gonna go sound check. Yeah. Peace. Peace.